I'm David Reddish with Queer Tea. And you hey, look David. like you're in a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I live like this all the time. It's so, it's so wonderful. It's awesome. Bibi and Mark, thank you so much for being with me today. Um, I loved you guys on the new show. Uh, you play you and Misha, two of the Mission to Mars crew, and two of my favorite characters. Um, what I think I love about them is that they both have secret passions. Um, Mark, I'll start with you. What is it about Misha that he loves puppetry so much? You know what? It's the, the crazy thing about this is that it was my passion when I was growing up. Really? It, yeah, my dad used to have every time, every birthday I had until I was, I don't know, nine or 10, I had, we had puppets at home and uh, he would organize the kids of the neighborhood uh, to do a puppet show. And we had these puppet shows and then I played with the with the puppets as a show. I remember when I came to Israel in 1972, a year later, 1973, there was a war, the Yom Kippur War. And even as someone, I didn't speak the language freely, but in the bomb shelter, I went from class to class with my puppets and did a puppet show for, for everyone. And That's then, and I, I actually brought the puppets with me to Vancouver uh, to show it to the, I, I still have the puppets from my childhood that I, I was doing the shows for my kids with them. Wow. And I brought it to the, to the people uh, that were, you know, the, the costume designer and the, and the props to show it to them. That is so cool. It's wonderful. And it, I didn't come up with it. It was like that in the script. It's crazy. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Vivian, you is somebody, I don't want to give anything away here, but she has some special people in her life back home. Right. <laughs> Part of what I think makes her so compelling is I was constantly wondering, does she see her feelings as a strength or as a weakness? What do you say? Wow, that's such a good question. <laughs> this right. is like, you know, she's uh, for her mission, for her um, for her career, she's in this very uh, unfamiliar country with a unfamiliar language and a bunch of people so she's uh, probably very lonely and then of course then she's got new fond um interest and right. relationships and so forth um i find uh, it, this is whole, this whole journey to mars is also a journey uh, of self-discovery yeah. to moon um i think this is um she's finally finding her authentic self in a way. So I would I would say to Lou, um, it is a strength. It's finally, I want to see her coming out of the shell of the image and become a, becoming who she really is and desires. And it's a, it, that's the beautiful part. Of Absolutely. Uh, and I love that you say that. So real quick, I watched you guys on set in January in those harnesses. Are they as yeah. painful as they look, the anti-gravity harnesses? You have yes. no idea how much we <laughs> missed it. <laughs> <laughs> they are, but but we do miss them. It's uh, it, it was it was a fun time. It was really uh, special. That's wonderful to hear, Mark Vivian. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank, thank you so much on the show. Good to see you again. Yeah. You too.